Okay, to go to your marketplace tab, first find the product that you're interested in looking at. I'll just search by keyword here. So here we have the product information page, and you can see the second tab down is marketplace. So if I click on the expand button here to see further information, we can see the marketplace tab information. So the first thing you'll notice uh, is there's a, a number of rows. Each row represents a marketplace that you are currently subscribed to. So at present, this account is subscribed to Amazon UK, Amazon Germany, Amazon France, and Play.com. And you can add or remove new uh, marketplaces that you're subscribed to if you click on My Account, and then go into Modify Subscriptions. So we'll just run through the different columns here with you. Uh, the first column is list, so you can check that either on or off. On means the product is set to list on this marketplace on Amazon UK in this instance. Uh, if you uncheck that, it means the product will not list on Amazon UK. Uh, the next column is FBA fulfillment by Amazon. I think most of our customers at the moment are not using this, so I'll leave this to the end. So we'll run through the rest of this of these columns and then we'll, we'll run through an explanation of FBA so if it's not relevant you can uh, skip it out at the end. Okay so the next column is price check. Uh, again you can check that on or off. If it's on it means that the product will be price checked using your auto pricing rules which are in your Amazon account settings. Uh, if it's off it means the product will not be price checked and will be priced according to your default sale price set up here. Uh, the current price is the current price that the product is listed at or will be listed at based on the last time that your auto pricing rules run. So if your rules ran five minutes ago, um, the price in here is the price that Seller Express has come up with based on your auto pricing rules and the marketplace conditions on this marketplace, i.e. your competitor prices, uh, five minutes ago. It's worth bearing in mind that uh, this is always changing so you might go on to Amazon uh, and look at the price right now and it might be slightly different than, than what it was five minutes ago so sometimes it's worth uh, just being a bit patient with that and uh, understanding that uh, it is a bit of a moving target uh, and it's changing all the time. You can also click on the help icon here and that will give you more information on why the product is priced at the, the price that is currently set um, and you can go into the help section uh, here and that will give you a little bit more information and a, another help video on how that works. Uh, the next column is your listing ID. So for Amazon that's going to be your ASAN. For Play it's going to be your Play Trade. Next column is the last time price checking was run for this product, so the date and the time. Next column is the quantity you have listed. And again you can go across to settings here, marketplace quantities and control how you uh, determine what quantity of products you list on each marketplace. FBA quantity again is related to this so we'll cover that at the end. Um, lowest new price is the current lowest new price for that product on that marketplace. Uh, similar for lowest news, lowest used. Uh, refresh price, if you click on that Sell Express will run off to Amazon and update uh, your current price, so we can see that's just changed to three pounds eighty, uh, based on the current marketplace conditions. Competitor info. If we click on that, you can see the current competitors for that product on the marketplace that you've selected. So we can see here the seller name, the quantity they have, uh, the price that they're selling at, whether their product is FBA, their seller rating, uh, their dispatch time, and you can also say click on here to say ignore seller or include seller. So as you can see we're ignoring the seller. I can click here and that will then set Seller Express to include that seller in our price checking uh, and to price check against them. Okay. Uh, next field we have here is description. So obviously there is a, a setting uh, in Seller Express, a global setting in the settings screen where you can set a global description for all of your products but if you do want to set an individual description you can click on this 
this link and add an individual description in here for for that product and the last tab here is the, the status of your product on the marketplace so we can see a green tick means the the product is listed uh, a red cross means the product is not listed and if you move your cursor over the the red cross it'll give you a little tool tip to tell you why the product uh, if possible why the product is not listing so we can see in this instance it's set quantity to list at one but the product has been rejected by plane so and if you go into your report screen uh, there is a, a report in there as well which lets you view all the products that have been rejected by the different marketplaces uh, and you can work through those to improve the information you have on there to to help get those products listed right so back to FBA if you are using FBA fulfillment by Amazon you can flag a product so that it is uh, flagged as being an FBA product now you still have to do your inbound shipment to FBA as normal uh, all this is doing is just telling SellExpress that you have a product this product for instance in FBA and that the price check-in should take into consideration the, f the fact that it is FBA i.e. there's no postage uh, on the FBA product there's also uh, an extra screen if you go into settings Amazon account settings go into purge and replace tab and you can see here there's uh, an option here to retrieve FBA quantities from Amazon daily so if you check that what that will do is back on your product information tab you can see there's a field here for FBA quantity so as long as you check the retrieve FBA quantities on the previous screen then this will be populated with the current fulfillment by Amazon quantity that you have.